Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, nesting materials. What can you use? What are the best? And what should you avoid in order to successfully get these birds to build a nest? A very common question that many have when they first get into this hobby is what type of nesting materials can I use in order to get my birds to successfully build their own nest? Now there's a large variety of different types of nesting materials that you can offer the birds in order to get them to build their own nest, but you have to be careful which ones you offer. If you offer the wrong materials, they won't be able to build the nest correctly and it could also affect them and we'll get deeper into this a little bit later on in the video talking about what type of materials you should avoid but personally the types of materials that i like to give them in order to get them to build their own nest are coconut fiber and dried pieces of grass now you have to offer pieces of grass that are dried and they have to be certain lengths you want to make sure that they're not too long to where the bird can't maneuver it into a nest and you want to make sure that they're not too short where it doesn't hold up for the nest as well so the size of the dried grass is very important so one of the main things that i like to do is i like to cut the pieces of grass into sections that are probably about six to eight inches and this is perfect for them because it's just long enough to where they can carry it to their nest site and kind of intertwine it and weave it into the nest that they are trying to build now besides dried pieces of grass the nest next best thing that you can offer them is coconut fiber and coconut fiber is an amazing nesting material this has always been my go-to type of nesting material because it is very light it doesn't weigh much and the birds are able to intertwine it to make the perfect nest and this is something that they love and love 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 to use for their nest so as far as the two main types that I use, these are it right here. The coconut fiber, I buy online. The dried pieces of grass, I go out into the wild right here into a park close to the home and I collect it for the birds. Now besides these two, there's a variety of other things that you can use like for example, cut pieces of paper, feathers, and birds love feathers. Let me tell you, when they're building the nest, the males will mainly focus on building the outer portion or the main shape of the nest and the females will go out and try to find soft materials like pieces of paper, pieces of cotton, pieces of feathers and they will use this to line the interior of the nest. This will be their main duty when it comes to building the nest, to line the inside of the nest. So if you have that available and you can offer some feathers to them, it would be great because this is something that they're going to use for the inner structure to make sure that they have a nice space to give the eggs heat inside of their nest. Now let's talk about two of the main nesting materials that you should try to avoid. At least these are two that I always avoid because in the past they've caused trouble. And the first one is going to be pieces of grass that are green. One of the reasons why you want to avoid pieces of grass that are green is because these are full of moisture, they're full of water. And as they begin to dry up, the birds will use them. Let's correct this real quick. They will use these green pieces of grass to build their nest, but it's going to become a problem because as these green pieces of grass begin to dry up, they're going to release a large amount of moisture into the inner part of the nest because of this moisture that they have inside of them it's going to cause humidity and that increase in humidity could cause the embryo inside of the eggs to die because the amount of humidity may be too much inside of this nest so you want to try to avoid these pieces of grass for that reason and not only because of the amount of humidity that will be formed inside of the nest as they dry up but it could also cause a variety of different types of funguses to be created inside of the nest because of this moisture buildup in there. So always try to avoid green pieces of grass. And the other type of nesting material that I always avoid are pieces of string. And this in the past has become a big problem for me because I used to cut small pieces of string for them to line the interior of the nest. And one of the biggest problems that I had was that unfortunately the string would get tangled up in the adult bird's legs or in the young chick's legs as they started to mature inside of the nest. Sometimes they would tangle around the wings 
and it just became too much of a problem, too much of a hassle. So these are the two main things that I try to avoid giving them. Besides this, there's other types of nesting materials that can be used that are great, so I would personally stay away from these. Alright guys, well this is going to be the end of another video. I really hope that these tips are useful for you and if you weren't quite sure what type of nesting material to use, now at least you have a little bit of a better idea on how to get your birds going into building their own nest. If you've enjoyed the video, like always, remember to hit the like button, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We will see each other in the next video.